great weekend. Larry King Live starts right now. Tonight exclusive, they're all here live for the first time since America's new idol was crowned. The winner is David Cook. David and the nine finalists take you behind the scenes and let you in on what they were thinking and what they were feeling on the most incredible night of their lives. Find out what you didn't see and hear in the American Idol finale. They're taking your calls too next and only on Larry King Live. We begin with the seventh winner of American Idol's uh, series, David Cook. And we'll be joined later by the runner-up, David Archuleta, and then the two of them will be together, and then the whole cast. And on Monday night, the whole cast for the whole show, the whole cast being the winner and the nine finalists. Uh, David, congratulations. Thank you, Larry. Nice Thank having you. you with us. Did, were you a little concerned that apparently, again, this is a media feeling, that the younger David was favored all week? Um... You know, honestly, I didn't pay too much attention all week. I was just kind of trying to focus on having a good time because it's such a, a crazy moment, you know, to be on the finale of American Idol. Uh, and to share it with somebody as cool as Archie, uh, I was just trying to enjoy it. And so uh, when they called my name, I, I've watched it back a couple times now, and I, I think I was genuinely shocked, you know. I, I thought Archie did an amazing job on Tuesday and uh, had pretty much resigned myself to second, so. You did? Yeah. So some winners have honestly sometimes admitted to me, I thought I was going to win. I, you know, I honestly didn't. Um, I, I, I went into this with no expectations, and I didn't, I didn't want to at any point have any. So, um, you know, but based off what the judges said on Tuesday, I certainly thought that uh, I certainly thought I was taking silver. Let's take another look at that uh, winning moment, which David Cook and his mother will never forget. Let's watch. Here we go, America. Ladies and gentlemen, David and David, the winner by 12 million votes of American Idol 2008 is David Cook. It's a like to see it again. <laughs> uh, it's a bit of a different experience, to be honest. I. I I never in my wildest dreams could have imagined that this was going to be how it went for me. Uh, I figured when I hit 24 that I was going to stay a week. Uh, but that's the great thing about this show is it's very unexpected and uh, here I am. Tell me how you came to enter. Uh, I was standing in line in Omaha, Nebraska with my little brother Andrew. Uh, he had wanted to audition for years and uh, finally got the courage to do it. Asked me if I'd come as moral support. Um, so I, had, I, I went with no intention of auditioning, and then we're standing in line, it's 5.30 in the morning, and the producer comes up with a camera, interviews my brother, turns to me, and I'm like, whoa, I'm not auditioning. And he goes, well, you are now. Um, and, uh, you know, it's, life has a crazy way of working itself no out kidding. sometimes. Yeah. Well, how does Andrew feel about all this? Um, you know, when we walked out of the arena uh, after the first round of auditions, Andrew and I actually auditioned together, and I made it, and he didn't. Uh, and I asked him, you know, if, if he wanted me to do this, because if he didn't, I wouldn't. And uh, he said if he didn't, he would kick my expletive. Um, and so he's been amazing, you know, to have, you know? To have his support from the get um, made the whole thing for me. How does he feel now? Happy? Uh, he, feels, uh, he feels like now hopefully he can uh, enjoy uh, you know, some of the fruits of my labor. So. <laughs> Your other brother is ill, right? Yes. It, 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 it's brain cancer he had? Uh, yeah, my brother's had a brain tumor um, now for about a decade. Yeah. Ten years? Yeah. Um, it's, it's amazing. You How's know? he doing? Uh, he's fighting, you know, and uh, I, I tried to really keep it a a out of the public when I was on the show just because, um, you know, win or lose, I wanted to make sure, and, and he wanted the same thing, for, for me to have success or failure based on my own merit. And, um, you know, so it's exciting now to kind of be out 
uh, in the open and be able to uh, to kind of maybe, hopefully you know help shed some light on this. It's 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 obviously a terrible thing, and uh, but, but he's ten trying. years is significant. I yeah, think. yeah, he's he's been a uh, he's you know that he he's my he's my American Idol to to kind yeah. of use a cheesy paraphrase. He's to be able. To be able to watch him these last 10 years kind of fight this head on. Um, you know, and now amazing. with the Ted Kennedy story, mm -hmm. more national focus on it. Yeah, and, and you know, hopefully all these things, all these terrible, terrible things that are going on, people being diagnosed, um, I, I can only hope that it leads to a cure. You know? How's the family, though, dealing with it? Here we've got one, the highest moment you could have in your life and still a sadness at um, home. You know, for me... Uh, it, it was kind of it, I, I I welcomed it in a very strange way, you know, to to be able to walk on stage, um, knowing that there are things that are way more important to me than than uh, whether or not I win this title, um, you know, probably gave me a little bit better perspective to know that that uh, you know there's people dealing with way worse things than Simon saying something nasty. <laughs> What happens to David Cook now? Do you you get a record contract? Uh, we're working out the kinks on a record deal, and uh, I'm hopefully going to get into uh, a recording studio here very quickly and start working on a record. Uh, meanwhile, we've got uh, we've got this American Idol tour this summer. Starts July 1st in Glendale, and I think we go till September 13th in Tulsa. Wow! Um, so I'm, I'm stoked to be able to wake up in a different city every day. is going to be really exciting. Let me get an email question in, then we'll meet your. Uh compatriot in crime. Uh, this is from Carla in Puyallia, Washington. It's so apparent that you and Michael Johns are close friends, so inquiring minds would really love to know what he whispered in your ear Wednesday night as you fi finished singing Time of My Life. Oh, wow. Um, I honestly have no idea. Um, you know, Mike is... Uh, is is stand up, you know. And He's I met, a free spirit. Yeah, I met him. I met him and uh, Jason Yeager and Luke Menard day one of Hollywood Week, and we all just kind of bonded. We started calling ourselves the Four Horsemen, and um, to have Mike there for that experience was uh, was was really really cool. But you don't But know I was what. so lost that moment. I have <laughs> no idea what he said. And we'll take a break. When we come back, we'll meet the runner up, David Archuleta, and then the David will come back. They'll all be gathering. Getting ready to join us is David Archuleta, who gave Mr. Cook a run for his money. Archie is here right after the break. Superstar. Absolutely on the money. It was the bomb. This boy's the one to be. That's not a bad place to be, is it? I don't know where they got it. We welcome to Larry King Live, David Archuleta, the first runner up. For American Idol. You're standing on the stage, they're about to announce it. Did you think it was going to be you? I did, no. <laughs> I already, you know, Cook, I think, you know, I know that Simon said stuff on Tuesday night, and I really appreciate what he had to say, but um, I didn't think he gave enough credit to Cook anyway. I think Cook did so great. I think he really proved, well, you know, that we, we both worked so hard this past week. I mean, you know, this is the last week, and this is the last chance to show what, just give everything we have on that stage. Your rendition of uh, John Lennon's Imagine was a huge hit early on. You sang it again Tuesday night. Let's take a look. Oh, my. <laughs> Take my hand and join us yeah. And the world will live as one. Dude, you are so good tonight. You are exactly what this show is about. Finding the best singer we can find, and the best singer season seven is right there! You were stunning tonight. You were stunning tonight. And what we have witnessed is a knockout. Do you think in a weird way, those over-the-top congratulatory exclamations by the judges might have hurt you? Um. I don't know. I I didn't. You know. I really. I don't know if I would agree with Simon as with a knockout, just because I don't think that could. 
I don't know. <laughs> well, when you heard it, did you think, wow, I'm going to win? Uh, I, I never really thought, you know, I'm going to win. I just no? think, no, you know, just because it wasn't based on that night, first of all, even though we did, I did really try to give it all I did. I mean, I really used up all my energy on every performance that night, but, um, you know, it was based on, you know, each week. It wasn't just that night. It would it'd be kind of sad if it was just one night after all that hard work that we were, we'd had to show. <laughs> We have an email question from Carl San Antonio. How much did your father direct your path through American Idol? Was his involvement a problem? Or if there was a problem for the show's producers at all? Uh, well, we didn't see the producers too much, you know. I'd see them every now and then and then and talk and stuff. But, uh, you know, he's just, he was, he had to be there for Guardian. I always had our Guardian. I mean, was he pushy? Mind. Um, you know, he always had his, his opinion about things, and, you know, a lot of time I'd go against what he, his suggestions, I didn't always, you know, you know, sometimes it's like, oh, yeah, that's, you know, thanks for your advice, but, you know, I'm just gonna <laughs> go for this and stuff like that, you know, it's, it's just about taking risks, and I had, you know, there's some things that I was kind of scared to try, and I just went for it, and it was, you know, a great learning experience. You needed a guardian because you're under 18? Yeah, I actually have my teacher here too because you know I have to do school oh, you yeah. know school remember that school, school. yeah <laughs> do you have a recording contract now um you know I talked to uh, Simon and uh, Simon Fuller and them after the show and we discussed some things and um, I'm just really excited to be able to work on an album now and just see what where it goes from here just you know you never know what will happen Are you gonna work with his record company um I think they said something about Jive Records. I'm not really quite sure what's going on with that just because it was pretty crazy that night. And But, uh, you know, we'll just be listening to songs now. And well, are you and your father close, by the way? Oh, yeah. 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 You, you, you have to, to <laughs> uh, go through all this. You know, he, him having to always be there. He's, he was my roommate, so... Hmm. Uh, well, I had Chikizi too, and he was a good roommate too. But in, for after Chikizi left, I just had my dad there. You've been doing this. You won on Star Search, right? Oh yeah. When you were twelve, <laughs> have you been singing since since when? Um, you know, I always liked singing since I was like seven. My dad showed me this Les Miserables tape. Well, he just played it for our, us kids while we were like packing into our house we were moving into at the time, and. I just kept rewinding it and playing it back, <laughs> and I just couldn't stop watching it. And you know, I've loved music since then, and I really enjoyed performing and stuff when the first season of American Idol started. I just like <laughs> imitate everything they did, and I just it was so, you know, strange to see people performing and just showing them express themselves so much in a song. But this one performance by Tamara Gray just was like so moving for me, and I was just like. Whoa, I was like, what was that? I mean, I, what was it that I felt when she sang that? It was so weird, and I loved it. Where did you try out? Uh, I tried out in San Diego for this season. Uh, had you tried before? Oh, no, no, I didn't. Was no, the no, tryout I nervous? Oh, um, you know, I just was like, you know, I'm just going to have fun with this. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't even know if I'm going to make it past the first round. <laughs> but I just was like, you know, I'll just try to have as much fun with it and just take this as a learning experience. And um, the two judges at the table for that first uh, stadium audition, you know, we were in a row of four people and, you know, each of us, t you know, stepped out and sang like 20 seconds. And then they said, uh, you know, unfortunately, none of you have what we're looking for. Thanks for coming out, though. I'm just like, oh, OK, well, well that was fun, I guess. <laughs> Go back home now. And uh, like, on our way. On our way leaving out of the stadium, they say, wait, come over here, come over here. And I was like, are they talking to me? So I just kept walking. They're like, wait, come here. <laughs> and uh, I came over and they just said, you're, you're through. I was just like, what? <laughs> are you kidding me? I thought you just told me I'm going You're through, going meaning home. you're on your way. Yeah, you're through to the next round. Mm -hmm. And I just couldn't believe it. I was just so shocked because, you know, <laughs> I was not expecting that. David Archuleta. Uh, what a story. We have a second all-new hour of Idol Worship on Monday. Send them your emails and I ask questions. Go to CNN.com slash Larry King. More with the two Davids next.
I thought it was phenomenal. David. Baby The right time to peak, baby. And may the best man win. The winner of American Idol 2008 is David Cook. Wonder how many times we're going to run that. <laughs> uh, they hype it a little, huh? Okay, you know. Uh, some people might not be surprised at which one of you won the American Idol or that both of you were the finalists because the judges were on this show in mid-April. Watch what they had to say. This is the guy I would actually choose to listen to on a yes. personal level. Yes. Oh. You know, forget what I think right. about the business. I like this guy. He's, and he's very good. Very talented. My favorite. Mad talented, dude. Mad he talented. Just, he's like insane. Fearless. Talented. He really has that presence. He knows who he is. Simon? He's the one to beat, Larry. He, he really is. is the one to beat. No, I mean, not this, David Cook. You know, this guy is going to have the teen vote. He's going to have yeah, what I call the, gra it. the yes. granny vote. Okay, they loved you both, but they thought Archuleta would win. And you thought Archuleta would win. Oh, no, absolutely. I, I uh, you know, to, to, to go into this season, I mean, all you, all you heard about was how great David Archuleta was. And, <laughs> and uh, you laugh all you want. Uh, but, uh... You know, t so why do you, what, what led to this uh, reversal of fortune? Uh, you know, that, I'm the last person know? to ask. <laughs> it's, uh, uh, this show is very strange sometimes. But I, I honestly, you know, he, he came in and he came in from day one and knew exactly who he was and exactly what he wanted to do, and he did it. And, so and I, you. well, you know, <laughs> that, and that's probably why we're both sitting here. But so you weren't, so you weren't surprised when, they, when, when Ryan said cook? No, of course, <laughs> I, I just thought, you know, I already knew this guy was just, just so talented. I mean, he's just someone, he's actually someone I've looked up to since the beginning. And it's just, um, you know, all my friends have been written for Cook too. You know, they're just like three people, on, I told them three people on MySpace, <laughs> three of my friends on their <laughs> sites, they had his song on there. I just thought it was really funny. It was, it was cool. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, where do you want to go with this? <laughs> what do you What do you want to do? Um, well, uh, you know, I, I, I kind of have jokingly said at the beginning of the season that I wanted to win an Oscar and a Grammy, and uh, and now I'm in a position where, uh, you know, I get to try. So, uh, but first off, I, I just want to. I want to put out a record with some substance and something that's going to be able to stand on its own in 10 years. You know, that's the goal. We have an email for David Cook from Tyler in Crown Point, Indiana. I'm eight years old. I've been studying guitar since I was six. Oh, wow. How old were you when you started guitar lessons and what advice would you give me? Um, I started playing guitar when I was 12 or 13. And uh, there are a couple pieces of advice. One is uh, it gets really tedious in the beginning. Um, but you got to push through it. And secondly, uh, your fingers are going to hurt, um, as, as you probably already know by now. But uh, if you can work through that, I mean, it's, uh, it's one of the best instruments, I think, to play just because, you know, what, what's cooler than playing guitar? So. Sounds great. Yeah. We have an email for David Archuleta from TD in Bakersfield. Are you going to focus on pursuing a record contract and a musical career, or do you plan to attend college? Um, well, you know, music is my love, you know, the love of my life, <laughs> and I just, it's something I've always enjoyed, and it's really changed my life, and so that's just definitely something I've always dreamed about doing, and now that I have the opportunity, that's definitely something I'd like to do, and if music doesn't work out, I'd still like to try, and, and I'm still looking, you know, I'm still pretty young, and still trying to look at what other things interest me. I haven't quite figured that out yet other than music. I mean, yeah, well. But I'm still, I'm still looking at some things and, you know, different... You're off to a good start. Did you feel, David, relieved when it was over? Um, yeah, you know, in a way. Uh, the, the, the whole show, you know, the, the eight-month process from first audition to this, um, it feels like you're holding your breath a little bit. And, and uh, I've been asked a few times why I cried at the end. And, and for me, that was just an exhale, you know, to, to step back and really think about what just happened pretty heavy um so yeah i am relieved because uh, you know we 
Uh, now I get to move on to the next phase of all this, which is, uh, you know, a record and a tour and, and all the good stuff. So. Thank you very much. David, you relieved? Oh, yeah. You know, <laughs> it's, been, it's been a pretty long few months here, but, you know, it's been a lot of fun. And just had great times, great memories. You'd recommend it to people? Oh, definitely. If you, Go for if it. They, if they really love music and really want to do this, it's definitely an experience of a lifetime, and you'll learn so much from this. Okay, we've got a lot more to come. We're going to have meet all the other contestants, and the whole gang will be with us again on Monday. We've got a great American Idol contest with a terrific prize tonight and Monday, and I'll tell you all about it coming up. And we want to hear from you about something else. Who's your favorite of the American Idols? Head to CNN.com slash Larry King right now and cast your vote. From Kelly Clarkson to David Cook, they're all there for you to consider. Hang around for Saisha and Jason. They're in the wings joining us after the break. Mary King, Monday night, American Idol, the winner and all nine finalists together with a behind-the-scenes scoop. What do you want to ask them? They answer your emails. It's an all-new Larry King Live, CNN Monday night, 9 Eastern. My name is David Cook, and I'm 24 from Tulsa, Oklahoma. This yep. entire show. I feel like I'm already looking at the American Idol. You might be the one to win the whole lot. We're back. We're joined now by Saisha Mercado, American Idol finalist, and Jason Castro, another American Idol finalist, too. Terrific talents. What did you think, uh, Saisha, of the Battle of the Davids? Um, these guys are great. You guys are awesome. Thank you. He's always smiling, very <laughs> humble. You're always cracking jo jokes. Um, very nice. I mean, and he really takes the time. Their talent? Um, talent. <laughs> Talent. Okay, it and no words. Itself. What the show was about. I mean, great guys and, and awesome, awesome talent. They're they're so talented, creative, all that good stuff. Were you surprised? Not that David that doesn't have a lot of talent, but there was so much emphasis put on the young one. Were you surprised that Cook won? Well, you can't be surprised either way with these two. And, and you know, everybody knows they don't judge based on one night. Even if one had a stronger, and even history shows, even if you do have a strong night, it doesn't always mean you're safe or the winner yeah. by chance. But um, no, there's no surprise. Were you shocked when Paul Abdul criticized you for two songs and you'd only sung one? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I was a little bewildered. And <laughs> were you surprised? Well, we were standing next to each other and we were worried that... Uh... We thought maybe she was talking yeah, about it was like me. The second song so we're looking at each other like, did what? And we, we weren't like looking, but I was just kind of glancing like. Aisha, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you were in the final three. Yes. What was that like? Um, I was fast enough. Um, I, I don't want to say shocked, but there were there were weeks when I thought I wasn't going to be there, which we never just really because of all the negative comments that I got and about what and just. That Just about my performances. The judges and, 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 Yeah, and being in the bottom three so many times. Um, but I tried to remain positive throughout the entire experience. And I think that's what really helped me, just, just staying positive and, and meditating and talking to family and friends. They kind of kept me on track. Uh, but then now when you're in the final three, do you think, hey, I'm going to win? Um, no, I, I didn't think that. I was more focused on just doing my best every time I went out there on that stage. That was like my main. You weren't focus. thinking about winning, losing. No, huh? there were some. There were some times, like in the beginning of the competition, I'm like, I want to win, and then I'm just like, you know, it's not about winning. It's just about doing my best. In an interview uh, in Blender magazine, Simon Cowell says, Jason, he thinks you gave up on the competition, and it frustrated him. Did you give up? I never gave up. I really, I really think what people don't see is how I really knew I was at this, and that uh, it just started to get uh, just way more than I could handle, like really, and just. I don't know. I gave it all I could, but just my way of doing things wasn't cutting it. David Cook, what do you think of these two talents? Um, you know, what can be said that hasn't even said? You know, to, to, to call Castro a talent, I, I think, first off, is, is a huge understatement. You know, to, to, you know, he mentions how new he is at this, uh, and to come into a, 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 just an amazing situation like this with, with little to no experience, and to do as well as he did, uh, you know, my hat's off to him. And Saisha. Uh, 
<laughs> you know, I, I said this all season. One of the strongest vocalists we that this this season had was Saisha. I thought she came out every week and just killed it. And, and I was always really surprised when she was in the bottom three, just because, um, you know, if it's if it's a singing competition, <laughs> she's she's sitting here and I'm sitting all the way at the end. So. What do you think of them, David? Uh, Audrey? I they're just it's so amazing to be able to be standing, you know, sitting among all these amazingly talented people and it just it's been fun getting to hang out with these people and learn from them and you know it just they're both really funny and I don't think people really know that about them <laughs> they're both so funny and, <laughs> and you know we've had good times and it just you know Saisha is really just such an amazing vocalist and performer and you know so talented and it's just so weird when she do like one of the most unbelievable performances I've ever heard in my life and then the judges be like oh, I don't know it's just like okay what is wrong here what's the problem did you not just hear that and, and then Jason just it's just so you know it's you <laughs> Jason, you're Jason having trouble so getting funny. it out aren't you? Uh, you know, he's just it's been really cool just to, to show his uniqueness and um, you know, he's just such a funny. It's just. <laughs> he's just awkward. Uh, since, the, since it's the viewers that decide, do you really care about what the judges say? You, you Other have than to not. Personal like, I mean, of course, you hear what they say, and it goes through your mind. You kind of filter it, but I mean, I guess I don't know. You you can't let it really matter because they're not. It seems like they're the only three watching and the only three that matter. But in reality, you know that they're not the only ones you're singing for. You care, but at the same time, it's like the most important thing to me is is how I feel about it when I'm done. You know, if I felt good about and it. Simon told you to like, pack your bed, like, leave, right? Yep. <laughs> but you didn't. I, I did that week. <laughs> yeah, I think I did that week. The one week you told me that. I, I, think, I, think, I think, you know, the, the best way to try to attack it, at least for me, was just, you know, they're going to say what they're going to say. And, and the goal is to try to find a constructive criticism in it. Sometimes it's harder than it is with others. But, uh... You know, Simon especially is just one of those very bluntly honest people. If you can, if you can take what he's saying with that grain of salt and really tune into the constructive aspect of it, it usually is a lot more helpful. Well, we're just getting warmed up. Brooke and Carly are in the hot seat next when Larry King Live returns, and we'll be taking some calls too. Next two finalists, let's check in with Anderson Cooper, who will host AC 360 at the top of the hour. What's up, Anderson? Larry, tonight on 360, what was she talking about? That's what everyone is asking tonight about Hillary Clinton. Today, when asked why she was still in the race, she mentioned, among other things, that the assassination of Robert Kennedy happened in June. The comment set off a firestorm about what she was implying. We'll tell you what she said about it, as well as the Obama camp's reaction. We'll also bring you the latest on what some are calling John McCain's pastor problem. Yesterday, Senator McCain said he no longer accepted controversial pastor. Pastor John Hagee's endorsement. Today, Mr. Hagee had a couple of things to say about that. We'll look up close at how and why McCain hooked up with Hagee in the first place and whether or not this split could hurt the candidate. All that plus a special investigation into the availability of prescription drugs online. It's a shocking look at a deadly problem, one that every parent needs to know about. All that and more, Larry, at the top of the hour. Thanks, Anderson Cooper, AC 360, 10 Eastern, 7 Pacific. Joined now by finalist Brooke White. And Carly Smithson, Brooke, what did you think of the Battle of the Davids? Well, you know what? Like, we've known each other for a while now, and we've um, gotten to know each other. And it was, you know, people always ask me, who's going to win? And I had honestly no idea. They're both very good at what they do. They're not, you know, and it wasn't a matter of who's better. They're different. They're not even comparable. So, you know, when I watched the show on Tuesday night when we were sitting in the audience, I was just like, wow, they both did really well. Um, so I had no idea what was going to happen, but either way, not to be... A neither way would have shocked you. Yeah, neither way. I was like... Carly, what did you yeah. think? 
Um, I actually am just very proud of both of them. The week that we had before the show with choreography, like we were overwhelmed with what we had to learn. Oh they had gosh. like 10 times the amount of stuff that we had to learn. The fact they even got through that night, I just thought it was amazing. Tough dudes. <laughs> All right. Uh, Brooke, you had some mess up times, right? You forgot a lyric, you started yeah. over. Yeah. Like, um, so you had to have extraordinary yeah. talent to get where you got. <laughs> no, when you think about it, you're like the ice skater who fell. Exactly. I heard still about got a, Still got a, a, a bronze medal. Exactly. <laughs> Speaking of. Um, you know what? It's a lot of pressure up there, and it's live television. And um, obviously, if I could have, I would have never, you know, forgotten the lyrics. And... Um, the first time with the piano was I missed my cue. I didn't hear it because Ryan Seacrest was behind me, so I didn't forget the lyrics that time. But the second time, absolutely, it was just like a blank wall in front of me. But I was very grateful that I was able to get through it after that. I mean, it could have gone a lot worse. Because that's number one panic for a singer. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Carly, you once had a major label recording contract, MCA, right? I so knew you this been, was going to come up. <laughs> yes, you would have been one of the early favorites here. What happened? Um, I mean, you I had a really, step ahead of everybody. Probably the fact that the media broke that story and it became so huge. I don't know. I mean, there was a lot of other people that had records that it just wasn't brought to everyone's attention as oh, much really? as mine was. Yeah. Oh, really? I think Carly um, got a bum rap this season. I, I, I I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take this platform. You, you got a bum rap in that, um, you know, the show is not, the show is, is, is for un, unfound talent. And, right. and just because you've had a record or done anything musically, I, I don't feel like that should disqualify you in the yeah, public's eye. We all had, had prior experience. Yeah, I all mean, of us. Which if you're a good singer, now, yeah, we you, actually got an opportunity. We worked really hard to yeah, be here, yeah. you know what I mean? And whether you had a record deal or, you know, put together your own album or whatever, you know, we were all striving yeah. to make I think you know, I know successful. what it was. That there was one article that was written about me 10 years ago, and it brought up a large, very large figure that said that there was a lot of money spent on my record, and it was untrue. But unfortunately, um, it has kind of followed me, that figure. So I'm happy being... that I'm on Larry King now, and okay, it's not the straight. right amount. <laughs> Do you think uh, being from Ireland hurt you in that you were, uh, and you and Michael, since you were in an American had, Idol contest? I had, you know, maybe thought about it early on, um, briefly, but, you know, I had, I had seen that there had been other foreign people on the show, like, um, that had made it very far, and I, I believe that I probably wouldn't have made sixth place if it was such a big deal. But, um, I don't know, I, I never really thought about it. We don't have American Idol, or we don't have Idol in Ireland, we have why, American Idol, why, so. Why, why are you tattooed? Because I liked it. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it's very attractive. You're going to come down to my shop, it? right? I'm going to come down to your shop. Uh-huh, yeah. yeah, I love it. I mean, <laughs> tattoos, I think, are really cool. Jason, <laughs> Jason, <laughs> Jason, what do you think of Brooke? What do I think of Brooke? <laughs> As a talent, what do you That's think of Brooke? Well, she's awesome, one of my favorite voices on here. It's, it's Thanks. cool. I don't, I don't know. It's <laughs> different. Now, Archie, what do you think of Carly? Oh, Carly is amazing. <laughs> she's <laughs> and she's been like, kind of my mama on the show. I look <laughs> after him. I heard what you said about Blackbird too. That's sweet. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> Michael, Christy, Lee, Romel, and uh, Ch Chickasy. Well, I love it. <laughs> now I got him in Chickasy. We'll round out the group there next. You're watching Larry King live. <laughs> Larry King live. He couldn't be with us tonight. He's in Las Vegas, but we wanted to spend a couple of moments with Michael Johns, one of the final ten on uh, America's on American Idol. Uh, by the way, uh, Michael, uh, thanks so much for joining us. The whole crowd says hello to you. Say hello. Hello, Michael. Hello. Well, Michael, hello. Michael, did you enjoy doing this show? I absolutely loved it. I actually, um, I enjoyed it a lot more than I thought I was going to, honestly. I was a bit the same, um, you know, didn't know what you were going to expect coming in, whether or not you are going to make friends or there's going to be a bunch of, you know, music geeks or something like that. But, uh, you know, everyone was so great and um, I've made some lifelong friends, so that's, uh, that's a benefit. Uh, is the show seen in Australia? Yeah, this was the first year it went live um, on Fox in Australia. It went basically four or five hours delayed, that was it. So. 
my whole family and I went down to Australia to do press uh, a couple of weeks ago and everyone in Australia knows who I am now so it's very strange. <laughs> Were you nervous? Yeah, of course. I was more nervous in the audition rounds than I was in the actual um, performing nights. Because um, you, you, you're in more control on the actual performance nights than you were when, like, you were in front of Simon and Randy and Paula for the first time and just, you know, they could say yay or nay and you're gone, you know? So I was more nervous then. On, uh, when, they, when you left the show, is that a, a, a down night for you or did you feel I re rewarded? I'm glad I did it. No, look, I mean, I, I, I went off on a complete shocker. I was never in the bottom three and uh, thought I was coming off some good weeks there. And, uh, yeah, the rug was pulled from under me. But uh, the next day you do about 15 hours worth of press and um, having the media saying, you know, you were robbed and this and that, I mean, that was really <laughs> nice to hear. So I, I felt like, um, okay, now it's time to get on with the career. Michael, thanks so much. Best of luck. Continued great success. And we'll see you Monday night. Thanks, Larry. And see you guys. Breaking news tonight, a large tornado is on the ground in Greensburg, Kansas. That's the same community destroyed in May last year. We'll have more on this story as it develops and a lot more at the top of the hour. Joining us now, Christy Lee Cook, an American Idol finalist, as is Ramil uh, Malube, and I'll pronounce it right, Chikizi, the man with one name. Was all this, Christy, worth it for you? It was definitely worth it. I wouldn't have traded anything... Uh, Nothing. I wouldn't have, you know, given anything up because this was the best experience I've ever done in my entire life. Did friendships develop out of it? Oh, yeah. Um, I am friends with everybody, and we all get along. We all... <laughs> I mean, we have, we have our, you know, our moments where we are fed up with each other, but then we get over it, and we're friends again the next day. Ray Meal, did you enjoy it? Yeah, it's so much fun. I mean, like, trying to think back on what I was doing right now at this very moment. Last year, I would have never thought that I'd be here. I mean, I was just... I had regular job and went to school and now you know American Idol has and tour do you ever think boy I should have done this number not that number if I'd have done this number I'd have um, been gone further sometimes I think that but if you know like if I really think about it then it's just like you know if I didn't sing all the songs that I sang I where would I be you know what place would I have gone so I mean I think I sang the songs I was supposed to sing and not a lot of people like some songs and a lot of people liked other songs but I, I was happy Chikizi, you tried before to make American Idol, Yes, right? this will be my fourth time trying. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think this will vault your career? I mean, yeah, definitely. To be able to get on this stage, I mean, and, I mean, honestly, this summer, to be able to go on tour throughout the U.S., Idols Tour 08, check it out, mm -hmm. um, it's, it's, it's an awesome opportunity that I've been given. And, I mean, in an industry that hands you very little, I've been handed it an amazing opportunity. Do you think, David Cook, that this was, uh, I don't want to put words in your mouth, an extraordinary group of talent here? Um, you know, I've been a residual fan of the show, and so... Um, yeah, that's why I asked you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I, I, I definitely uh, kind of got the vibe, you know, from everybody coming into this season that this was the most talented group that the show has had, and uh, in my limited capacity as a, as a knowledgeable person on the subject, I've got to say, yeah, you know, um, Everybody brought it every night, and everybody had ev had an idea who they were, and and brought it out. So, um, Archie, yeah. you agree? Oh, yeah. You think anyone could have won? Definitely. I mean, everyone's just so talented. It's like, you know, at first it's like, who knows what's going to happen? Let's call them business. Thanks for leaving me hanging. <laughs> the Idols are coming back for an all-new Larry King Live on Monday night. They'll take your emails, as always, head to cnn.com slash Larry King or send them questions. We'll be back with our exciting conclusion of this exclusive hour after the break. Monday night, American Idol, the winner and all nine finalists together with a behind-the-scenes scoop. What do you want to ask them? They answer your emails. It's an all-new Larry King Live, CNN Monday night, 9 Eastern. The summer tour begins for this American Idol troupe. They will go to 50 cities. It starts uh, July 1. What are you going to sing? What are you going to sing? Uh, but you know you're gonna I'm, sing. I'm, I'm gonna sing uh, the winner's single, uh, Time of My Life. And RG, what are you uh, definitely gonna sing? Um, I'll be singing Angels. Okay, what are you gonna sing, dude? Um, one of the last songs that I, was, that I sang, which was If I Ain't Got You, Alicia Keys. Jason? I'm um, for sure busting out the ukulele. 
<laughs> you go away with it. Uh, you're going to Hawaii, huh? <laughs> Brooke? I'm going to be back, be back on the piano and play Let It Be. Carly? I'm saying Bring Me to Life by Evanescence. Christy Lee? God bless the USA. Ooh. Oh. Mm -hmm. uh, and Ramil? I want you Ramil. back, Jackson 5. And my man, Chikizi. Um, A full harmonica solo. About three minutes long. <laughs> That's no. a, that'll keep him going. I believe it's my soul by Donny Hathaway. By the way, we've got a great contest for you. The first person to email us a complete list of the songs David Cook sang solo during the American Idol competition, and competition is the key word, will win a pair of my suspenders autographed by the American Idol finalists. You go to CNN.com slash Larry King to enter and hopefully to win. And David wanted to say something about... Uh, uh, yeah, I just wanted to, wanted to, on behalf of everybody, give a quick shout-out to Luke Menard. Uh, mm -hmm. He was top 16 yes. this season, and he just got diagnosed with Hodgkin's lymphoma. And I uh, just want to make sure that we all wish him the best. We love you. We yes. love you. Yes. 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 Your prayers. He was in the final 16, huh? <laughs> okay, well, we've been told to call you guys the American Idol Class of 2008. And we have some yearbook awards. Uh -oh. Who would be a, who would be voted class clown? Michael Jones, hands down. <laughs> who would be a voted named class flirt? Ooh. Michael Jones. Michael Jones. <laughs> Is there a cutest couple? Uh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with Brooke and Dave. Mm -hmm. Not not, not no, her husband Dave. Her husband not David. Not David. David. Three. Yeah. Who would be class brain? David. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Indubitably. It would, would be the most laid back. Oh, that was made for me. The eternal napper. Uh, and who, what about who would be most likely to get caught making trouble? Michael <laughs> Johns. <laughs> Michael Johns. There are a lot of websites about American Idol, some nice, some nasty. Do you read them? No. I try not to, but I, occasionally I think curiosity gives in. But uh, for the most part, no. I think you try not to, and then your friends call you and tell you everything. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So even if yeah. you're them, everybody else tells you what they read. Do yeah. you read the tabloids? No. I do. I read the, the newspaper tabloids? every day. It would be hard to do a quick song, a cappello. Uh, you guys want to give it a go? So Castro, so Castro, Castro don't pick the key. Uh, <laughs> just, just, we only got a minute. Uh, sing, somebody start singing. Freedom. Oh, no. Freedom. Freedom. Keep going. Freedom. Archie, get freedom. in there. You gotta give for what you take. Hey. It all comes together in the end. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when the, see, when you're called upon in the clutch, yeah. true talent comes through. There you go. Uh, by the way, the best of luck uh, to all of you. Thank I think you. It's gonna Thank be, you. Uh, Thank uh, you. There's nothing but great careers ahead. And don't forget, the tour starts July 1st, yeah, and there'll be 50 cities in all. You can watch these great towns. They'll be coming certainly to a city near you. Thank you all very much. Thank you, Larry. We're launching something new tonight that we're really excited about. It's the Larry King text message. And here's how you do it. Are you out and about and want to know who we've got on the show? Sign up for my daily text message. Just text 26688 from your cell phone and text LKL Alert. That's 26688 LKL Alert. One word. Or go to CNN.com slash Larry King. Sign up for Larry King on the go. <laughs> we now have 42 things that we can offer you at our website. Keep going. And don't forget about the contest in our quick vote. Who's your favorite of the American Idols? Go now to CNN.com slash Larry King. You can download our latest podcast, too. That's Jesse Ventura. And I want to remind you about Monday's show. It's an all-new Idol Hour. They'll be answering your emails. American Idol and you, Monday night on Larry King Live. Have a safe Memorial Day weekend. It's time now for Anderson Cooper and AC3.